Γεια σας and hello, I'm Darth Leon and wait, this is not, this is not Legends of Lontera, what, what did that turn on? Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, what? What kind of game is that? I, I was definitely planning on playing, um, Master uh, Legends of Lontera. Uh, ah, oh well, this is, this is also another game we could play, right? It's, it's, it has cards, it should be the, pretty much the same game, right? It shouldn't, it shouldn't be something too, too different, should it? Well, let's see. No, uh, okay, it's April Fools. That's that's the whole thing. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, apparently, they have login missions for every month. You know what? I'll take it. I will take everything. Yeah, you're giving me everything. Forty gems. I will take it. Sure, why not? Do a line. All right. So this game came actually. One year ago, because this is currently, I just ended, the one year anniversary event uh, During which they would allow you to get some uh, very specific uh, They're still available, which have... Oh, they're not available, okay Well, the anniversary pack is still available, which, you know, since we're playing this game, might as well go ahead and open them They gave us uh, a pack, and as well, you can get one Ultra rare card out of this collection, which I don't think they're very good. Let's be honest. Like I will, I will, I will play a Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon eventually if I get the chance. But uh, I don't know what's actually in the anniversary pack. So let's go. I have three of them. Let's go ahead and open them and see what we can get. Uh, this applicable, you can receive one secret pack of your choice and one card from the special UR pack with each purchase. Uh, I don't. I think I have three of them, don't I? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, give me this one. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Nobody, what that is? Not going to lie. Oh, that's a black dragon, and they gave me a better alien warrior. That's nice. Go Tucker is nothing. I don't. I don't care about that. But the black dragon color pleasant. What's that? Must be some special summon from Han by banishing one light monster. I. I don't know about this actually. This might actually just go into the trash, I guess. And let's open up the secret pack. Which has in it a guaranteed ultra rare royal finish Cyber's Clock Dragon, and we also unlocked the secret pack of it. What's what's this? A Clock Wyvern and one Link Monster Fusion Summon. Uh, you can send the cards. Okay, it's Contact Fusion. That's understandable. Not something we truly care about. But again, I'm not sure if that's cool. Thank you. I'm not sure if that's like something I, I can even like throw away, I guess. So let's open up the second one, which we're going to make be this one. Yep, go ahead and give it to me, please. Oh, the black eyes red. No, the red eyes black dragon. Which, you know, if they give us an ultra rare from this pack or like from his archetype, that would be nice because there is the dragoon guy who is actually. Oh, 100 dragon? Wait. They turned the Hadron Dragon normal? Or not normal, not fusion? Oh, it's not a hundred years dragon, it's just the hundred dragon. I, I'm not sure if I like this thing, it's not going to lie. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what this is. But hey, if they give us one ultra rare from this, this archetype, honestly, give me the dragoon, please. I will be very happy about that one. Royal finish. Red Eyes Melt Blue Dragon. Uh, that's actually not bad, is it? You can special ca summon this card by banishing one face of dragon you control. You can only special summon once per turn this way. Honestly, this is not a bad card. I am playing a dragon deck. Maybe it can fit there eventually. I don't know about that. But you know, it's, it's not a bad card. And you know, if I, if I want to buy some more... Wait, the Black Dragon Sword? This is from Clues of Hermes, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. I know the... I've played the... 
Eye of Tomaya, on a deck I actually own, and we will actually probably play that deck eventually. Uh, but that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is another ultra rare pack. Let's go with this one. You know, opening packs is exciting to me, I'm not going to lie. I truly have no idea who this guy is. Is he from Link Generation? I mean, if we open up the pack, we will now eventually. Um. Huh. Okay, this was pro actually the most disappointing of these cards, but you know, whatever. And let's open up a pack from his archetype, I guess. A guaranteed ultra rare. Yeah, no, I've said this like three times, but open me up. Oh, it's Galaxy's Photon Dragon? You know, that's probably good. Like, if you're playing Galaxy's Dragons. This is probably good. Okay. So, this is from the... The Nebula Cycle? I guess, I guess that's the archetype thing. Alright, so this is kind of what you get for the anniversary, or what you got. I'm not sure if, you st if they're still available. And we can't really get any more from this, which... Uh, fair. Three, three ultra rare cards is fine. We will be opening some more packs later tonight. Uh, that being said... Let's open up these two legacy packs. No, let's not. They're not worth. They're not worth opening up. And apparently they reset the rank, I guess. Because I used to be silver, I think. But now we're back in bronze. And they also have these tryouts that you can get a borrower deck. Okay. Uh, I select a deck from... Oh, okay. So it's either Exodia, some... Oh, that's a Bakura deck, I guess, and this is Venominaga. You know what? I used to play Venoms. Yeah. No, give it to me. Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, this is not what I planned for tonight, but let's give the Venoms turnover a try. I used to play Venoms. And if there's sort of old archetypes slash decks, this might actually be a sort of a slower match. Which actually would be pretty exciting. This is what, what we had planned. I, I don't know how this deck works fully. Alien Dogs, Alien Stallbusters. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's the Alien Dog? When you roll summon an Alien Monster, you can special summon this card. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one face-up alien. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Send one light reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's probably good. So, let's actually activate the effect. See what we can banish from uh, our deck. Seems like nothing too good from the looks of it. So, yeah, let's send this guy over there. I don't know what any of these guys do. I should actually have read them. But you know what they say, you your players never read anything. Alright, so the alien guy is coming out. We are, will also summon the reptile. Uh, it's not that good right now, so we're going to play it in defense. Uh, what's this? Send one reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then if you have five or more reptile monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can special summon one reptile. Okay, that's not something we care about right now. But we will set it face down. And we're going to... Link summon the reptilian echidna? It's 200 attack. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So wait, which direction this guy is showing? He is showing... Uh, it's pretty neutral. Alright, and I will actually activate the stealth buster. I will place it right here. And I will end my turn. I don't know what I, what I did. <laughs> I just played cards. Quick effect. You can place... You can disc play... You can discard one monster. Place an egg under equal to the original level. On face up monsters. Distribute it as you wish. If you control... If this cards... No, you can special summon one non link reptile monsters from different names. From the graveyard up to the number of monsters your opponent controls with A counters. Oh, I should be placing the A counters on enemy cards. I see. 
Well, that's a lot of traps. I have four reptiles in the deck with different names, so we cannot really activate Water Lily. Oh no, we can! Alright, so... Considering the current situation... Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon with Rise of the Sneak Deity. Gains 500... Uh, Alright, understandable. So, we're going to activate this. If they have a response, they have a response. What we should be interested in is like sending a reptile we don't have already here. It's a hard one per turn, so no reason like in keeping it. Alright, they are obliterating me. You can target one master on the field, send one forbidden Zodia master from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon the target to the hand. No, return the. Yeah, this card is sent from the graveyard. And... Alright. Use the effect. Okay, obviously. What effect am I activating here? You can discard one master place. Uh, no. There's no point in that. I don't want to do that. Okay. We already have that guy, so... No, no? No, we don't have no, no. Okay, so go ahead. Special summon a master on the field, yeah. Uh, go ahead and special summon... Uh, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. You can... If this card is from sent from... Okay, go ahead and pick up uh, this one, I guess. Yeah, this is probably the better one. Face up attack position. And I will activate an effect from the graveyard. We haven't normal summoned this turn, have we? Can we XYZ here? He has a reaction, which is kind of unfortunate. We can XYZ, which is nice. Can I can I go ahead? Alright, thank you. King of the Feral Limbs. Sounds fair. Once we turn, you can detach one material, add one reptile master from your deck to your hand. Yeah, sounds nice. Go ahead and XYZ this too. Face of attack, please. Nice beefy boy. We're going into the main into the battle phase. I should probably have added a card actually now that I think about it, but Yeah, because if he destroys my card, I'm kind of done. Alright, so main phase two. Go ahead and bring me a card to the hand. And I think I'm going to detach uh, this one because I want to detach the other one, while it's uh, while he has cards in his field, which is not actually going to happen, but... Okay, this is a tuner. It might be worth breathing it out, yep. And we're ending the turn. He's, see, he has the Exodia deck, so he's going to be trying to play control, so that he gets all his... Wait, did I not deal damage? Effect at one dogmatica. Okay, that's a spirit, which means at the end of the turn is going to return to its hand.
But he has to level 4, so he could uh, XYZ right now. And we saw how like big an XYZ summon is. Okay. Dare to catch and skip. That's kind of a thing you want to do at the end. When you're looking for your Exodia pieces. Well, he did get something good, apparently. He technically isn't planning on, like, having to worry about those two draws, I suppose, at this point. I will actually do that, yeah. Wait, no, he's a spirit. Ah, fuck. Uh, he's probably going to use something else anyways. Do I have a single summon that's level 5? Yeah, I do have one. It seems pretty strong too, so... I, I'm not playing this deck very well right now. I was expecting Venoms, but right now we're playing uh, Aliens, which I guess they're still... Alright, this person is playing from their phone. You can see it because it has this disconnection thing over here. Okay, so step one. Let's go ahead and play this. Summon it, please. Uh, bring back the stealth guy. Which we will use for synchro summon, which is nice. Because we can actually add alien counters on a creature that is actually going to stay alive for more than a second. And we can actually use it for the effect of whatever the synchro summon master is going to let us... If he's going to let us. We're not really worried about if he can destroy my master right now. Because I can, like, summon something else. What can I do? You can send this card. Send one dark metal. Okay, that's not what I care about right now. What I do care about right now is go ahead and make the fortress guy. Tuner. Synchro. Face attack attack. And I will activate the alien master add to over here. Once per turn you can select any number of face up spell or trap cards. What? Oh come on. You're no fun. Alright, but that's not a big problem because I can... What effect can I activate here? If you control no other masters or control an Oglogic monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard but banish it when it leaves the field. Uh, go ahead. Place it in defense position. Can I do it once again? If this card is in your graveyard, you can set one card to add this card to your hand. I actually don't want to do that. Instead, I want to uh, summon something else. So, it doesn't really matter what we do, but we actually want to ma throw another Nunu in the graveyard so we can replace this one. Uh, so, we don't have that. So, bring out... Yeah, let's do this. I don't know what this does, but... Yes. Some special summon... I can't just special summon this one, can I? Alright, does he have an effect that's, that lets me... 
Okay, uh, once per turn you can select any number of face up cards, turn those cards to the owner's hand and distribute new A counters among masters on the field, equal to the number of cards returned. Once per turn you can remove two A counters from in order to destroy one card your opponent controls. I will actually do that. What I will do is I will destroy one card. I will remove from this. And I will uh, uh, add this as again. Destroy this card. Seems like if it, there is a response somewhere, it's over there. I don't plan on having this thing return because. Uh, what was that? Come on. I, I will battle. Let's start killing his things and taking his uh, life points away. There we go. And the turn. He cannot draw, but it's not really that important considering what he has in his hands. Including the very card that he would just destroyed. Yep. So he gets to reactivate his combo. Yeah, it's right here, I know. Yeah, no reason not to destroy my monster, to be perfectly honest. I should have Link summoned, probably. Snake Render. Discard one card from your deck to your graveyard. This is actually the worst possible card we could draw right now. Uh, that being said, I will actually activate an effect here. I will discard uh, another uh, monster. Actually, I will discard this one. No, wait, I wanted to discard. No, no. Because I can already summon here. I'm expecting the activation of the freaking... Alright, we're going... Actually, uh, uh, it's, it might be pointless if I don't do it. Like, if I do it and he destroys my monster, we're kinda hurting anyways, aren't we? So... Wait, nah, let's try it. We will activate the effect. Place counters on a monster. Uh, no, can I cancel it? I don't wanna, I don't want to. I've changed my mind! No! God damn it. Yeah, I did not want to do that. Wait, that one? Wait, on their side? Yeah, no, it's fine. 
It's fine. No, it does not stand for that, Sigma, but welcome to the stream. I'm, I played a deck I did not know how to play. It's it's fine. I should, like, have... It, it does it does not in this case, I promise you. Stop, stop saying include things in the chat. <laughs> Season 16 has begun. Alright. So, yeah, I promised Dragon Mage. So, let's actually play a deck we know how to actually play. Dragon Mage. I mean, no is kind of a big word. Uh, it's for letters. But still. So, Sigma, have you ever played this game before? Do you know what this is about? It's a lot like lore in the way that um, it's has, it has cards. Oh, this is a hero themed. This is a hero themed, uh, uh, right? Ah, uh, yeah, no, you're not wrong on this one. All right, let's actually play this game for a second. Hospitality, uh, special summon one monster from your hand or your graveyard. All right, so if we're allowed to special summon any monster from our hand or the graveyard, we're going to be activating the effect of kitchen. Uh, no, we're not going to be activating this. So we're going to be sending chamber on the grave. Uh, it's okay. When you reach home, you can go ahead and watch for real. Alright, so next step, we're activating Hospitality To return uh, Chamber to the field Chamber will allow us to bring out the... No, I don't want to use one of these, thank you We're looking for change over there There we go and now we're going to be using change over. Uh, we're going to be using. We'll be summoning the boss monster of this uh, round, which will be uh, this. Actually, we want to get rid of Kitchen because she's. Yeah, there we go. So if uh, for some reason House dies in before the next battle phase. We can bring her back with Chamber. By the way, if you don't know what the... Uh, since you probably don't know what the Dragon Mates are, they are... They have two forms. They have the human form. Actually, you can see it with Kitchen. They have the human form, which is, you know, them. But once the battle phase starts, they can turn into the dragon form, which is... In this case, it would be... Uh, I will activate the effect of Shell. And I will bring back the Chicken. Bam! See turn one? Three big masters. This this girl is stronger than fighting. Uh, oh, he's playing heroes for real though. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Dun, dun, dun. By the way, we played the boss master, so the music ramped up. Alright, a lot of back row over there. And I don't really have any back row removal because I don't own any. But that's fine. We, we have Dragon Maid Shell on the field, so nothing bad is going to happen. Right, yeah, keep pointless right now, but it could be useful next turn. Which means I'm not activating the effect of Shell. And instead, we're going right into the battle phase. T might as well trigger some of the traps. Uh, what does it do? During your opponents, you can activate this card during the battle step. Any opponent's attack that takes place while well, you control an elemental master is negated, but this effect works only once. Uh, that's understandable. That's, it's not going to stop him from attacking again. Even if I deal no damage, I'm still attacking. He still has another response, but... 
Oh, he doesn't. He has other responses, but... That's good enough for me. I mostly has responses in my hand. Like, right, I can master reborn in case, like, the field gets out of hand. Which it won't. It, it might have actually been worth to... Um, summon kitchen just to throw something into the grave. Including a stronger dragon, it might have been worth it, yeah. Oh, here's the big boy though. Main guy on the field. Uh, it's, he's not on the field yet, but he's, he's considering it. And he does have the, like, elemental heroes board, I suppose. What does Blazes do? She can get the polymerization. Understandable, but unnecessary to stop right now. Because I want to use it after. Skill successor. Target one face up monster. It gains 400 at the end of the turn. Except you can manage this card. Okay, that's not really important to me right now. Alright, you've made your guy stronger. The question is what you're going to bring out after the polymerization. Not right now. I want him to actually summon something and activate it first. Basically, we're just waiting for him. But right now we have technically all the hand, all the cards. But if he does not summon something scary, honestly we're going to, we're chilling here. Clayman, I did not know they had one of those. Does he have any protection from spells? Must be fusion summoned. Gains attack equal to the combined original levels of the fusion summon material. Times. Okay, I see. When this card destroys an opponent's master, you can tribute. This card, special summon one elemental hero, summoning its conditions. I see. I think I'm going to engage this activation actually. Out comes house. Kablam. Oh, are you not? Are you not fighting? Oh, I see. Dragon Maid, welcome! Always welcome! Uh, I will activate the ha effect of Chaos, yeah. And I want to send to the grave. Uh, do I want to send to the grave? No, I don't think I want to send to the grave. I want to send. Um, let's send Nurse to the grave, Ernest. There we go. Dragon main, welcome. All the Dragomans are way stronger now. And we're going to go into the battle phase. Activate the effect of Kitchen. Bring out Thicketh.
And we are actually going to activate the effect of house and destroy blazes. This might have lowered our attack a little bit, but uh, that's fine. Because we're going to play Chamber in the end of this turn, or, or on main phase 2, sorry summon Shell. If he, if he stays alive, that is. If he stays alive, that is. And he did not stay alive. He should not have, have activated his effect, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for he. He, he should not have activated his distraction effect, sorry. And you know, you get some rewards, mainly like either cards or like packs for cards. Nothing too impressive, but you know how it is. Let's go into another Dragon Mage match. This guy is a Kaiba fan. As you can clearly see. We're going second, which is kind of hard. Considering we will have technically no protection. I mean... Oh! You know what? I appreciate that. I get to hear the music from this uh, sound. From this field. Oh wait, they have the enemy actually gets dark magic. Uh, gets all right, that's cool. All right, two traps. We might be, we might have to go into. Um. Okay. Yeah. I think I think we're going to be going into a weird combo right now. Unless we draw Chamber. <laughs> okay. We drew Chamber, which actually helps us a lot. Because it should allow us to go into the whole thing. So, let's set the trap first. We're going to be keeping the thing safe, the send up safe. We will draw a changeover. If he targets uh, our chamber mate for uh, distraction or negation, we will send the uh, send it back to the hand with send off, summon parlor, and go into a different effect. This deck is actually surprisingly uh, a versatile, but also b surprisingly uh, easy to play. They don't have a lot of um, effects you gotta play. You don't really have to do a lot of search. We are going into Shell, which... Uh, it's mostly for the protection of it, to, uh, to be perfectly honest. No, we don't really want to activate anything. Let's go into Shell. Uh, Chambermaid. And Nurse. This might not be the right way to do this, but I don't want to have like a sort of weak monster on the field. Yep, this is the this is the whole deck, by the way. All you have to do, go into Dragon Mage Cell. What does this do? If this card is okay. I don't see why I should care on this one. Go into the battle phase. Not destroyed? Aha, cubics. What what was activated there? At the end of the dumbest step, if this card battle an opponent, you can place this face-up card in your special as a continuous spell card. 
Okay, I got it. Uh, no, we're not using that. Even though we could deal 3000 right now, I might care more about the enemy. Wait, is my effect deactivated? Cannot attack and cannot activate effects. Alright, I might have wanted to do that. Uh, main phase 2. Uh, no, I want to set it actually, make sure we set it. Oh, their effects are negated. Okay, that's actually kind of disappointing. He's not going to stop me from saying yes there. We can probably use it to uh, link someone actually. So, what do we need to do to get this back? You can target one dragon made monster you control, add this card to your hand. Uh, and if you do return the monster to the hand Yeah, that's what we're going to do next turn, I suppose Although we need a way to... Can I summon with... Uh, Dragon Maid Monster you control Special summon one Dragon Maid Monster From your hand in the first position If you do return the targeted Special summon... Or, okay, I cannot really summon from the graveyard though Alright, kind of a dead turn from them But that's fine Laundry. Okay, I think I have a, a plan here. So, this one. Uh, no, there's no point in that. So, this one targets one Dragon Master you control and one card your opponent controls. Okay. So, step one. Parlor comes out And I will activate her effect Throw away a tiding This is kind of step 2 So I'm going to target 1 and 1 Namely I'm going to target my parlor and I'm going to target the enemy cubic Which will let me uh, use my cell Right? Or can I not use my shell? Uh, that's fine. If I cannot use my shell, that's fine. Because we're going to be activating this effect. We're summon classic dragon mage. There we go. And the turn. I know he will try to resummon his uh, too big, but next turn we're going to be doing something uh, that's hopefully going to end this whole charades. I'm trying to find his card so that I can read how the cubic works.
Okay, I see. He's taking it out. It was okay. Admittedly, he's not facing Cell, he's facing House, so it shouldn't be that hard a decision. She doesn't really have a lot of protection. But hopefully, next turn, we can actually kind of clean this out. Yeah, that's the sad part of this game. You kind of have to, like, slowly wait for the enemy to read his cards. Like, maybe he went for hot dogs, I guess. Or he's actually kind of tilted. That's also understandable. Even though, again, he's, he's, he kind of has like a full hand of cards, he's probably just taking it out. But, yeah, you, is, this is the kind of game where you kind of need your phone around to fully play, so that you actually can look at something else while you wait for your opponent to not play any cards for 5 minutes. Oh wait, they're playing the card! Uh, honestly? No, I don't want to activate anything. Alright, it's our turn. And with the expectation that this thing is actually the same thing that he threw at me uh, last time. We're going to be playing Nurse. We will be activating the effect of Nurse. And we will bring back Sabers. In. Ah, uh, no, cancel. Bring her in face up attack. Nice. I will use the effect of Chamber as well. Nope. No need for that. Bring out the. Uh, welcome. Get some bonus attack over here. And we're going into the battle phase. Uh, we will activate the effect of a nurse. Ernest on the field. I will use the house dragon maid effect. Destroy the the cube. Sounds good to me. And we will be going. We are already in the drag, uh, in the battle phase. Nope. Dun 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 dun. Nice. 
Nice and easy. Again, Dragon Mage is a strong deck. Alright, next. After, after we do this fight, I think we're going to be buying a couple of extra packs. And we will uh, also go into another deck. You know, play something different, just for a nice change of pace. That guy's name is King, and he's got a pretty wild like, profile. Like, you're not going to lie. Alright, they decided to go first. I mean, fair enough. We're kind of like saying, oh, wait, we're going first. Never mind. Um, this actually is a pretty cursed hunt. Uh, Alright, we're going to be going into. We're go we will set this. Set this. And end our turn. Honestly, this is a pretty bad opening hand. If they go into a, a Link Summon, we do have a response. But so far, this is actually pretty bad. Oh, they're also playing heroes. That's interesting. They're likely not going for a hero, for a Link Summon, to be perfectly honest. And if we don't draw something good next turn, we're kind of done so. We breathed very hard. What was that? A vision? Yeah, it was a vision hero. That's interesting. I haven't faced vision before. And they surrendered. Sometimes you surrender, I guess. I guess. I, I, I didn't even do anything. There was literally no reason for them to surrender. Sometimes you get like a little bit extra. Alright. A, a win is a win, I suppose. Maybe he's same considered he did not bring the thing he wanted. Ah, uh, we will go first. Okay. Well, since we have chambers uh, on hand, this is kind of like easy. And Solemn Judgment could be like a plan B in case he goes for something super wild. Wait, did I, I, I thought I was the one. Oh, okay, did I make a mistake? I want to go first. That's stupid. Well, I'm, I guess either I misclicked or I did not click quick enough. Okay. Against their whole hunt is hand traps? I don't know. Okay. Maybe they have a like a max C in their hand or something. And they want to stop us from fuse oh, from like special summoning. Uh 
I don't really have to worry too hard about that. Activate the effect. We will be bringing changeover to the hand. And we will go directly into a shell. Bring it out. And this time around we will actually be uh, throwing away this because it doesn't have to be a dragon mate, it just has to be a strong dragon. So, come out here so. Very clean indeed. Into the battle phase. I don't want to activate the effect of Shell. Of Earth Earners. Main phase 2. Set down the Solemn Judgment right here. And the turn. So this turn we're going to be bringing back... Uh, Chambers and putting and bringing out hospitality, I feel. But again, like this is the strength of Dragon Mage. Admittedly, we're playing against opponents who are not playing cards. But if you can summon Seo turn one, which is actually very possible with Chambers, you have protection, you have strong monsters, and you can keep bringing back your Dragon Mage. I would like to bring a hospitality to my hand, thank you. And honestly, it's all your turn. Now we're relaxing. We're the kind of deck that does not play a lot of cards and I really appreciate that from Dragon Mage. Because I'm stupid, you know. I, I don't really uh, know how to play cards. So if I have a deck that has strong protection, strong monsters, and let's be honest. Look at this lady. She's hot. What more do I need from this? She's a big strong lady. Look at, like, his human form is even hotter. Like, let's look at her. Like, let's be real. That's exactly my type. Strong woman. Has glasses. Black hair. Come on. Like, what more do you need? It's a strong archetype. It has strong masters. Like, turn one, 3,500. And we also have another supporter over here. What more do I need? No, I don't even need to, like, play anything. We're chilling here. Nope, this is good enough. Parlor. Alright. Honestly, we might just be going into... Uh, no, I don't want that. I would have liked to have drawn Kitchen so that I can bring out Ticket. Uh, but, you know, you don't draw Kitchen, that's fine. I'm waiting for him to end his turn. Uh, no, I don't want to activate the effect of Shell, actually. Come out, Parlor. I would activate the effect. No, thank you. So, let's throw into the graveyard a, a Tiding. And we're going to be going into a Link Summon. Bring out Seals. So even if he decides to play something next turn, which... I'm not sure what he's even doing. We're going to be checking into his deck next turn. Uh, hospitality. I'm, I am actually going to activate Hospitality. No, thank you. No, thank you. Bring back Chambers. And I will activate the effect of Chambers. During which I will bring back Welcome. I will bring out Welcome. Use it right here. Let's go into the battle phase. Please, Chamber, come back. Uh, I will not activate any other effects. Bring out Erners. And this is our finisher, actually.
Oh, I just got an achievement that says beginner no more. No idea what that's supposed to be. Okay. So, we just ranked up once again. Because, like, at this rank. But, like, what was this guy even playing? Why queue up when you're not going to be playing anything? Let's uh, return to the menu, I suppose. Match history. Okay, what were you playing? Confirm opponent's deck. Salaman greats? And did you really draw nothing? Like, but... What's the point then? Why even queue up? Okay. So, we did get a couple of missions, which makes sense. Let's claim all the awards all at once. It's mainly the dailies, I'm gonna guess. Like, win a duel, fusion, ritual, synchros, that kind of thing. This deck does not really synchro, but, you know. Wait, did we not synchro a bunch of times today? I, I don't know. Okay. So... We... Alright, I guess there is a battle pass you can buy. I haven't bought it. I'm not really playing this game, not going to lie. It's not my kind of card game. Because of its nature. But that doesn't mean, like, I don't enjoy it every now and then, right? So, if I play it, like... Maybe once a month or so, uh, there isn't any point in playing Dual Pass. So, but there is actually a big point in going over here because they actually give you uh, this the bundle deals. And they, like, I was planning on buying the Infinity Permanence this time around, but they also added Nibiru. So, we're going to be opening both of those. So, for like the price of uh, 10 bucks, they give you for. for Seven and a half packs, they give you ten and they give you a very playable card, but you can only buy it once. That's kind of the negative. But you know, getting a ultra rare, like ultra strong card is not really a negative, is it? So let's go ahead and purchase it. Uh, sometimes these packs like glow. I don't understand under what circumstances. But this is a super rare. A wind witch? Huh. Well, let's keep a note of them. It's probably... We're probably going to be, like, deleting that one, but... Honestly, I don't like a lot of the archetypes. Another uh, super rare. And another super rare. Oh, that's... They're being very kind to me. Uh, Necros, what kind of Necros affects their warriors? Doesn't particularly sound very nice to me. I don't know under what circumstances. Another super rare, probably. Crystal Bacon, though. That's always tasty. Stardust. If you wanna play st some Stardust. Which, I don't know if it's an up to date. Archetype, to be perfectly honest. They're being very kind to me right now. Malefic Ward? Again, very kind to me. Chaos, what are they? I see. Right, pretty normal, but we did get one of those. Neo Arca Dolphin. Those are actually used to be pretty good on the hero archetype, I suppose. Wait, nope. Mistake! But hey! That's actually pretty cool. This is kind of the Eldritch archetype. Uh, I'm not sure if any of them are honestly worth it. Maybe the gems are worth it. And this is a super rare royal finished. Honestly, that would have been actually pretty bold to just like look at instead. 
uh, gem, uh, gem knights are supposed to be pretty good and master magicians uh, uh, never interesting to be perfectly honest but they definitely gave us a lot of this and it might mischievous specters Ghost trick card. What what do we get from here to activate this? Oh, they're ghost tricks. I see. Uh, ghost tricks are also pretty interesting archetype, if I recall correctly. Honestly, you know the kind of archetypes I like to play. I like to play the weird ones. I wanna I wanna play the weird ones. So, ghost tricks. Yeah, they're like, honestly they're pretty cute. And they have this uh, weird thing. Yeah, you can't really summon each other. Uh, you kind of, they kind of need friends, so you kind of need to like bring out cards that like they like in not a normal summon way. All right, and we're also going to be buying the infinity permanence because you know I actually kind of want to add this card into my other deck, which we will see very soon. Another bunch of like very shiny packs, which I really do appreciate. I will remember to not click on skip next time. Alright, nothing too big here. But hey, we did get a ghost trick over here. And amazement. Oh, they also have the gears. The gadgets, sorry. Honestly, a gadget that could be kind of nice. I might have to look at like what kind of decks are uh, meta right now. Make a real meta deck. Yazi. Uh, Alright, thanks for the finish. Royal finish. Great. Honestly, this is a full cost uh, freaking uh, card. Like, I'm not playing Yazi. Come on. What are worms? No thanks. The boss was cute though. Sabers must But this isn't an archetype or if it is it's not something that has its own pack Evil heroes that's also pretty cool Amazones always nice to see These ladies are strong if you like strong ladies Amazones is the uh, like playstyle for you. What's in the secret rare? Beasting barbers. Ah, oh my god, it was never good. Pretty basic. Coral dragons. Thank you for the foils, I suppose. This is ritual. What the heck? They have added so many cards. Nice. Advanced. Come on, this is not an archetype? Really? They did not have an archetype for the advanced crystal beast? I would buy the heck out of this one. The Crystal Beast were my childhood uh, deck Darth Leon could never finish. Alright, but how about this one? <laughs> what is this desk bot? Huh, she's cute. I'm not- I never play pendulums, sorry. I'm never playing pendulums, ever. I don't know how to use them. They're they too much text for me. Hey, some more masks. For some more heroes, who cares we care about that? Alright, final pack. Well, maybe not for maybe for tonight for me, but Hey, there's a secret rare over here. Super rare. Some more Amazones. And quick launch, which is for the rockets? I actually have already carted rockets, so that's interesting. And we got the, the infinity permanence. That's very nice. Uh, this went of red is kind of cute. Very cute. 
All right. I'm honestly surprised there isn't a, a crystal beast secret pack. By the way, there's something that you probably noticed. So while we were getting the cards uh, from like all over the place, from whatever, they give us the these secret packs, which are packs depending on the uh, not depending. Uh, they're based on specific archetypes very specifically. So if you want to get a bunch of um, black eyed, uh, red eyes, uh, black dragons, whatever cards, which hmm, I'm noticing there's not a lot of them right now here. Wait, what? Oh, okay, four out of the eight cards, I see. So, if you want to get a bunch of the uh, Black Eyes uh, cards, that's how you do it, man. You, and that's, so that also includes like, stuff like Goddess Bow, which is a close of Hermos, that's a joy card. They have the Claw of Hermos here, in case you want to, like, use him. Uh, do they have the other part of the Goddess Bow? No, any warrior master. That's interesting. They don't. They aren't using the other card. Okay. But like, if you want the red eyes necro dragon, which you can buy from another structure, you can get like darkness metal, the dark steel. I don't know what that is. All if you want to build a blue uh, a red eyes deck, all the cards are here, right? All you need to do is either find one of these uh, super rares or ultra rares uh, cards. Or you can actually go ahead and craft one of these and get them from there. So, did I did I make a mistake right now? Am I recording? I hope not. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of an easy way to like get these cards if you want them. Like if you want a bunch of uh, gems, gem knights. Well, here they are. And I'm, again, I'm not... I'm pretty confusing this one of? I'm surprised. So, yeah, you have, like, four of the cards from the pack are going to be from here. So you can get them, I suppose. That being said... They really don't have rainbows over here. Crystal beasts. Alright, let's go into the deck. We're going to be going to be doing double duty. For first time, first off, let's add this deck. Le give me the uh, the new ultra rares. What's this? Oh, reset the filter. All right. No, I want to. I want you to give them like by obtained order, sure. But also, I want to have only the uh, ultra rares. Here they are, so go ahead and put Infinite Impermanence and Nibiru in the uh, highlighted cards. Infinite Impermanence also gets added into the deck and we're removing... Um, what did we add on this deck? I think it was this. Hey, this might have been actually pretty good. Bring it back actually. Yeah, no, this is actually pretty good. So instead we're going to get rid, in, get rid of... Uh, distant Rivals, it's probably not that big a deal. S yes, this is the Dark Magician deck, by the way. We're going to be looking at it in a second. Uh, actually cancel in both directions. So, um, where are they? Where are the Crystal Beasts? I did own a, a few of them. Oh, it's, I'm only looking at the Ultra Rares, that's why. Uh, Alright, remove the Ultra Rares. So, where do I find these guys? How to obtain? Oh, they're only available in Strong Wheel. Uh, seven move. And, yeah, Ultimate Overdrive. That's unfortunate. I 
I so want to play an, a Crystal Beast deck. And they also have a Sisu decks here. Cody Karate, what? Cards included in the spot. Sure, we're, we're just relaxing a little bit. We're looking at uh, other cards. Yeah, they do have the Isisu cards here as well. And some crystals. Just show me the crystals, please. That's a system, not a crystal. We're talking about system over here. Crystal Skull? What kind of card is this? From where is it from? If this card is summoned, take a thousand damage, then change this into defense position. Okay, during the end phase, it did, if you did not, if you did not take damage during this turn, you can either add to your hand or special summon one rock type. What? Man, this uh, either this card is like complete trash, or or like it's super rare, so it's probably completely broken. And I just don't know, understand what's hap happening over here. So the advanced are all here, right? Let's go back to the the decks. So we were looking at crystals. No, I, I don't I don't want the crystal beast in my deck. Sorry. Uh, we were looking. Okay, so the mammoth. How do I obtain the mammoth? Or they have the crystal cemetery, which if I wanted to unlock this, I would have to like find another crystal beast and look into it. But honestly, it's not worth it right now. I doubt crystal beasts are really overpowered. I will have to look it up. But honestly, man, if crystal beasts are overpowered right now. I'm so in. I'm so in. You have no idea. Alright, so now that our Dark Magician deck is fully completed. Did we complete any missions over here? Doesn't seem so. Uh, we will be going into another fight, but this time around we will be switching our deck up. No, I don't want to edit the deck. I want to uh, change my deck. Yep, it's a classic Dark Magician deck. Let's duel. And let's see if we can actually get a fight. A fight over here. I think I wanna go first. Huh. Alright, first step. Activate this effect. I don't need two Dark Magicians in my hand right now. So, I'm going to pick... Um, the Souls, I think. And return the other Dark Magician back to the deck. And next step, we're activating this effect. And I can either send this card to the graveyard and special summon one Dark Magician from your graveyard. We will be special summoning this card. Defense, there's no reason to have a zero attack monster on the field full attack. Normal summon this baby. I will activate the effect of Magician Road. I'm waiting for them to do something, I guess. Alright, and the thing we want to draw is 
the soul servant. Next step, activate magician salvation. Set the card right here. Nicely done. And then soul servant, if I remember, place one card from the top of your deck to your hand. That is Dark Magician or Meshes Dark Magician. Which will actually go ahead and we will look for... Uh, the Claw of Hermos. Which does not exist. Or maybe it does not mention Dark Magician. If that's the case, then I'm going to bring out this. We will activate the effect over here. And we're going to use uh, this card. We will be using it to special to be special summoning a fusion monster. And it's going to very specifically be the Dark Magicians. Get rid of one Dark Magician, get rid of one Magician Soul. Face of attack position, here we go. Very clean. Let's end our turn. Right? Yeah, let's end our turn. If I recall correctly, this have like sort of an innate protection by um like If it is destroyed, we can still summon cards from the graveyard. Not right now, I th don't think. They're playing Thunder Dragons, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, no. And I'm gonna guess they're going to Synchro Summon, which we don't really have a lot of opportunity to stop. A lot of attacks on their side, not going to lie. And yeah, they're going like really wide. We 
we might actually be dying. I will activate the effect of Dark Magicians in the graveyard and we will be special summoning this and this both are going to be in defense position yeah poor indignant uh, Dark Magician is like in defense him attacking this master might not be smart I'm going to lie we're looking for a card that's... We're looking for the student... Oh, we, I know what we're looking for. I'm not sure how we're getting it. I know how we're getting it, okay. We're looking for Rod, we're looking for the card that destroys the enemy field with these two cards on the field. Now, if he has con uh, protection, it might be hard. Okay. Man is going wild on his main phase too. Not sure why. He should be setting up protection. Are there two tuners? He's sure losing a lot of HP. Not sure why. Field spell. Uh, that doesn't mean we can't start. Not going to lie to you, my friend. Honestly, he's, he's lost more HP by himself than like how we've lost HP. I'm gonna guess he's going to be Link summoning right now. Or Synchro, I guess. Didn't you already have that out? Are you just flexing? This is protection from... Okay, you, you did that already though. What do you want to do with that? Now, I'm going to accept that. We just need to find a way to, like, sp special summon... Ay, ay, ay. Dark Magical Circle might be the answer we're looking for. Alright, do you have protection?
another circle in case we need it. Uh, we kind of want a way to s like special summon a, gr a dark magician. He has a response somewhere, which is kind of annoying. Unfortunate. We could summon a Dark Magician next turn, which is something, I suppose. Especially with this on the hand, and the thing. I don't want to do this in response. I kind of want to do this like at some later point. Succeed in special summoning. No, I just want to activate it like in general. Can I do that? Okay, this is not a dark. Uh, this is not a neo punk though. So we will like be activating, and I will use the effect right now. The effect of uh, summoning one Dark Magician from the hand. I will activate the effect of Magical Circle. Uh, no. Not right now. They drew a card, but honestly, this is just better. Okay, when this card is. Okay. I don't wanna do that. Like, ever. Alright, now he's definitely going for like an XYZ, right? That's a very wide 3 level scale But he needs to actually use it somehow He does- he cannot use it <laughs> I guess that's the power of removing their big boss uh, And sending it to the punishment We had a plan, but it did not turn out that well, unfortunately, but still, you know, but a win is a win. Admittedly, like, they lost a lot of HP for no reason. Like, not the reason, they were going for their combo, but... Uh, if you don't, like, actually get your combo, then what's the point, you know?
we will be going first. Oh, they also have the same field. Okay. I wonder if they're also playing uh, the same deck. Alright, first, Dark Magical Circle. Alright, confirm the order. I would like to add the designated card. Uh, I guess the soul first. But it's not going to be that big a deal because we're going to be activating. We will not be activating the soul. Uh, all right, fuck. This is the first time that happens to me. Mathmics, oh, I know these guys are strong. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, honestly, we're kind of fucked because we did not use our things, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna go for another wide XYZ. They're all level fall. Come on. Yeah, this is why I don't play a lot of you, I'm not going to lie. This is such an uninteractive game, you have no idea. Yep, we're just sitting here, doing nothing. Very cool. We are probably dead.
Well, if he makes the mistake of like clearing our field, we can lightning storm him, I suppose. Okay. Yep, just bring out the phone, I guess. We don't really have any reactions, so might as well look at something on our phone. Very interesting. He's still going, isn't he? Congratulations, I guess. Can you kill me right now? Alright, but can you kill me? Alright, we might have a chance. It was worth a try. Okay. Activate the effect. Special summon. Uh, throw out uh, Dark Magician. We're looking for a way to end this. Um, how can we return this guy to the hand? Or destroy him. I think I know. Okay. So magicians. Activated, yeah. So what we're looking for here is uh right, we're looking for uh a secret self. Yeah, a secret self. Alright, next step. We're activating it. We are fusing, summoning. And I will actually also do this. We're looking for a spell that can destroy fields. Alright, uh, bring me out the... Dark Burning. 
I know and it ends. Dark magic attack. If you control dark magic and all spells. We might have lost. What is this guy's normal attack? Yeah, that's the guy we're looking for. Alright, next step. The Dark Magician. Honestly, we should have had the... Uh, this guy as face down, actually. Uh, or, like, you know what I mean. The other guy should have been face in defense position. Because now we could lose from other ways. He's stating something. If you can destroy my Dark Magicians, I'm kind of done, so. We're going to cut it very close. Alright, we cannot clear his field this time around, and he could heal us next turn, but... Wait, he's Link summoning? Yeah, I guess you did, you did not do enough this round. Alright, we can activate it this turn. Wait, what? No, bring it back! What? No, I wanted- I needed those! I needed those. That's unfair. Oh well. Uh, honestly, this was fun. Not going to lie, this was fun to me. Uh, there's probably not going to be a lot of a lot more of those. Not going to lie. But uh, I had some fun. We opened some park. We played a little bit of Dark Magicians. We played a lot of Dragon Maids. It was fun. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'm going to see you guys next time. Have a nice night.